Hi there. What is a yad? So a yad in astrology is an in conjunction on both sides of a triangle, essentially. And then there is a sextile at the bottom. And let's take a look at what that looks like. Here's a chart with a yad to Pluto. And in this chart, we've got Jupiter at the base on one side and Mars at the base on the other side. So how does this work? How does it impact a person when there's a yacht in a chart? Well, let's take a look at each of the components individually first. So this dotted green line here is called an in-conjunction, and it's something that's kind of like a medium aspect. So like the major aspects, those are oppositions, conjunctions, trines, and uh, squares, certainly. These are major aspects. They have a big impact. There's a lot of uh, energy going back and forth between them. And then medium aspects would be like in conjunctions and sextiles, and then there are minor aspects too, which I'm not gonna get into. But um, basically, like with a trine, you'll see that the two placements like actively support each other. Like uh, they'd be like, you know, best friends or like siblings or um, like there, there's a lot of energy going back and forth there. And it's a harmonious and easy aspect, but they can be a little bit enabling of each other at times. So a sextile is a little bit similar to a trine in that it is harmonious and easy. However, not as much energy is put into it. So it's more like, uh, like a buddy at the office that you just talk to during the day, go to lunch with, maybe hang out after work once in a while, but you're not exactly like helping each other move on the weekends, right? You know, if, you, if one of you has a breakup, the other doesn't say, hold on, I'm bringing ice cream and wine and show up at the other one's house. So there is some support there, but it's not the kind of active support you would see with the trine. So these two points in the chart, the base, have a sextile between them. So they kind of get each other, they, they interact a little bit, they kind of passively support each other. And then in conjunctions are basically just like two points in a chart that don't get each other. Like they might notice each other and kind of like scratch their head and be like, all right, I don't, I do, I don't even know what to say about that guy. Like, I just don't get it. <laughs> and um, they find it easiest just to ignore each other for the most part. And they don't generally cause too much trouble unless it's like, let's say you've got your moon in conjunct Mercury. So like the way you think in reason just does not get your inner security needs and vice versa. So that, um, you know, given the importance of those two points can end up being a more sensitive um, in conjunction than say, like if we just, like if, Mars was not here in this particular chart, and it was just an in conjunction between Jupiter, which is not a personal planet, that's a social planet, and Pluto, which is just a generational planet, not a personal planet. Like that in conjunction there wouldn't be a really huge deal in this chart. However, now Mars is involved. So how does this look? What, like, like what happens? Well, when it comes to in conjunctions, I'm gonna stop share, there we go. Um, when it comes to these in conjunctions, you can imagine like a work meeting where like there's that one guy that like says something and you're just like, what is he even talking about? And like typically you would just kind of like smile and nod and like not really even pay attention, but now imagine there's somebody across the table from you that like you glance at the person and they kind of have a little bit of a like what look on their face when this person's talking too and now you like share this thing together and this is somebody that you already like get along fairly well with so it's a little 
that like uh, now it, it be kind of becomes the focus between the two of you. Like, what is up with this dude? Like, like what is he even on about again? Like, I, I just do not get him. And um, because there's this focus from these other two points on the apex of the triangle, which is Pluto in the chart that we just saw, that basically um, changes it from being something that can be like a little bit irritating or like difficult, like, um, like, like a little bit disharmonious into being a major thing. Like if there are two people in a meeting kind of like trying not to make each other laugh at noticing how much they both do not get this other guy, um, all of a sudden, like everyone's aware of it. Like the whole room is uh, kind of like, what is even happening with, with all these people here? And uh, the trick with the Yad though, is that the one at the apex, the one that neither of the other points gets, is the boss, <laughs> he's in charge. So it's a sensitive point in the chart and it's one that needs to be resolved. The misunderstandings or lack of um, getting each other, um, there needs to be some kind of resolution to that. And it ends up putting a lot of focus on that point at the apex of the ad. So again, in this chart, that would be Pluto. And this chart actually is the chart for Carl Jung. If you know anything about him, he was very much into shadow work, which is uh, in part the realm of Pluto. Pluto being, you know, responsible for a lot of hidden things and uh, darkness and uh, transformation. And that is indeed what Carl Jung was all about in his work making the unconscious conscious and, um, you know, getting to know our shadows, essentially, is what it comes down to. And, um, and so basically, whenever there's a yad in a chart, you can look to that point as being both a sensitive point in the chart, an important part in the chart, and something that it's going to matter at some like it's, it's going to be a big deal for this person and um, there's a question that I see come up fairly often with the ads and that is do you count points that are not planets and my answer to that is uh, basically do what you want to do uh, what I will say is that Points that are not planets aren't the same as points that are. Like planets are going to um, like feel like a part of you, like it's a part of your psyche, right? But something like an angle that'd be like the ascendant, midheaven, I see descendant, those are more like personas. So it's not like who you are or a part of like who you are. It's just like how you act. So it doesn't have the same energetic um, weight to it that a planet or even like Chiron would have. However, um, that doesn't mean that a yad that involves one of those points isn't important. I have a yad that involves my North Node and I, I do feel it, I do see it in my life, but I don't think that it's the same as when somebody has a yad that's just made of actual physical placements like like Chiron or planets. So that's what a yad is. And um, you know, the way it plays out is gonna depend a lot on the signs, houses, and actual planets involved in the yad or placements involved in the yad, but uh, that's the basic dynamic. So let me know what you think. Do you have any ads in your chart? Does this resonate? Comment below. Thank you.